March 20th. Stooping to rise. Being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him. Philippians 2 8 9. We wake up from the unconsciousness of infancy to find ourselves in a world of revolt, and learn that so far as the memory of man reaches back into the past, this conflict has been recognized as existing between man and himself, man and his fellow, man and God. Is there no help? Will not God someday bring peace and goodwill into these troubled scenes? Yes, indeed. This paragraph tells us that the time will come when every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Christ is Lord, and that God will be glorified. And this is being effected by Christ through means that we did not expect. When our Lord stooped to live visibly amongst men, he refused to avail himself of the homage due to his original nature. He had been in the form of God, but was content to veil his glory, to assume the form of a servant, to be made in the likeness of men. In the cradle of Bethlehem, in the home of Nazareth, in the voluntary limitations of his earthly ministry, in his obedience to the death of the cross, there was the hiding of his power. He refused to use the attributes of his intrinsic deity, that he might manifest the love of God, that he might bear away the guilt of the world, and work out and bring in an eternal righteousness. Therefore, he is exalted and bears evermore the name of Jesus the Savior of the world. The Apostle says, Let this same mind be in you, think these thoughts, follow in the steps of Jesus. We must show a holy emulation as to who shall stoop the lowest, and follow the Master the closest. The most urgent matter for each of us to consider is not whether we are orthodox in our creed, though that is not unimportant, but whether at any cost we have the mind which was in Christ, whether at any cost to ourselves we are manifesting the love of God to those around us. Prayer Our Heavenly Father, give us the patience, the tender pity, the humility of Jesus our Lord, who, though he was rich, for our sakes became poor. Make us obedient even to the death of the cross. Help us not to save ourselves, that we may save others. Amen.